All right, Frozen CPU here again. Um, just doing a s little unboxing of the new Plat Platinum Max uh, DF Platinum 1050 watt power supply. Uh, fully platinum everything, uh, five year warranty, which is a really nice dust free rotation, twister bearing fan, individually sleeved cables. Uh, it's the fan will only kick on unless it's using 40% of its total watts. So this fan, you know, will go ahead and, um, you know, only kick on when there's only about 40% load. So when you're doing something strenuous on the computer, it's also got a dust free switch, which means this fan rotates the opposite way to kick the dust out. And then when you let go of it, it'll automatically spin and cool down the power supply. And I think that's kind of an awesome little feature that they've been putting into here. And let's go ahead and open the box up. A uh, really nice uh, presentation of this has the power supply user manual right on the top. Just shows you everything that it comes with, the efficiency, the specifications of it. Um, you know, it also comes with a 24-pin uh, motherboard connection, 4 plus 4 pin CPU. Um, you know, in split mode and in combined mode, uh, it's got eight PCI Express combined mode, so a six plus two eight pin. It's got another six plus two eight pin SATA drives, four pin Molex, and a floppy drive. Which I don't know how many of you use still floppy drives, but you know, go ahead, do what you need to. All right, so go ahead still that nice foam padding in there really durable I mean it's really flexible but you know obviously you know whoever took over um, for the packaging on this por portion is really nice it comes with a uh, nice little bag for your power supply and it's got a nice looks like 140 millimeter fan on there really nice open good airflow uh, let's go ahead and see. We've got the motherboard, which looks like an 18 plus 10, kind of like Corsair's. Um, we've got the 8-pin uh, CPU port, another 8-pin CPU port, 10-pin uh, PCI slots for three of those, and these six pins for the SATA and four-pin Molexes. Uh, looks really nice, nice and heavy. It's got a kind of like a ruggedy look on there which is nice uh, on the back which is something that um, you know they've kind of implemented now is the uh, there's two little slots right here and what those are for is for the power supply cord uh, just kind of locks it in a little bit so it doesn't accidentally get unplugged uh, got the dust free rotations fan or the rotations uh, switch right here so that when you power this on you just kind of press the button and it will rotate the opposite way for about 10 to 15 seconds or you can just hold it down and it might go longer um, but like I said you know it's built really nice solid uh, it's got all the specifications right here also just in case if you ever you know if it doesn't come with anything um, moving on to the next box, which should be, which is all the cables and everything for that. Um, comes with a nice, thick, heavy-duty power cord, and I will show you how this little clip plugs into it. You know, this one right here just kind of holds that uh, the end of this cord in. I'll go ahead and just plug it in and see how the clip works. You know, just give it a little bit of a tug. Um, comes with a bunch of cable combs. Uh, these are the dual slot ones, so they go over the entire cable with that. Um, the little, most of these look like six pins. There's eight pins in there. Um, even the five pin dual layout. Uh, we can just go ahead and throw that right in there for right now. And here are all the cables nice and sleeve they do have a soft touch to them uh, the four pin uh, floppy drive that's in there I believe that's just a add-on yeah it's just an add-on it just goes into a four pin Molex to the floppy drive um, I'll go ahead and just open this up really quick uh, I'm gonna go ahead and reseal it as soon as I'm done so that, you know, we can go ahead and make it look back to presentable. Uh, let's
let's start out with the 24 pin. Like I said, it's got that 18 plus 10 on there to the 20 plus 4 pin. Nice sleeved, really soft fabric. Um, here's your 8 pin for these look like the 1, 2, 3, 4. This looks like it's for the CPU pin. And you've also got another, uh, the 10 pin to dual 6 plus 2s on there, which is really nice. Got the other EPS power supply, so if you have the 4 plus 4 pin layout for that, you can easily just take this one off and use it as a four, single 4 pin. Uh, got a 6 pin to quad SATA power. Uh, we've got two of those. And we've got a 6 pin to quad Molex. There should be two of those. Let me go ahead and check. Note here is another quad SATA power. So we've got three quad or four quad SATA powers to six pins. Uh, then we obviously have that one tiny little Molex add-on, which is nice because I don't like it when these are actually on the cable and I have to take them off and redo it so that I can just get rid of this so it's not laying around. Uh, we've got yet another 10-pin to dual 6 plus 2s. And we also have another, our third 10 pin to 6 plus 2s, which are, those are really nice, you know, obviously still sleeved and everything. And uh, that's pretty much about it. I'm going to go ahead and put these cables back really quick. We're gonna go back in here along with that guy and I am just going to temporarily take this apart so that I can show you exactly how that little clip works for the power supply. So obviously when you're looking at this, this pin is literally just gonna go in there and it's just gonna, you know, hold it in just a little bit for you. So I'm going to plug in the power supply first. And that's pretty much how it should go, just like that. This just holds that clip in. And you want to put the clip on the power supply first, slide it down, then lock it in. And I'm giving this thing, you know, I've got a, you know, it'll come out, but it, it takes, you know, a good amount of force to actually get that out. And even with me pulling it out, it, uh, it did not bend those clips at all. So, I mean, it stays pretty straight right there. So those pins, you know, are going to lock in nice and tight. And you're not going to see that, you know, if you trip over the power cord behind your computer, you know, a lot, this thing will save it, especially if you're doing a lot of video editing, photo editing, or, you know, waiting for a game to load. It's not going to rip out easily. Uh, they also give you some zip ties for cable management, and they also give you Velcro straps for cable management too, uh, two packs of those. Uh, but pretty much that's about it. I am going to put everything back into its place and get this all packaged back up neat and nicely. Uh, but, you know, that's pretty much it for the power. Uh, I'm not going to plug it in and, you know, see exactly how the dust-free rotation works. Um, like I said, you know, just from seeing the videos, you just press the button and it just spins the opposite way to blow the dust out. And then when it turns back on, it, you know, obviously just circulates the air to go right back out and keep the power supply cool. All right, thank you. Bye.